A brief thought in honor of Pesach. We have just emerged from the chaos of Purim. Purim is the quintessential holiday of chaos. Rabbi Tzadok HaKohem or Lublin explains that unlike all the other holidays in the Jewish calendar, Purim is selected randomly. The date is picked by Goral, by lottery. And how chaotic have our lives been since Purim? The effects of COVID-19 have caused our lives to go into disarray. We don't know who will fall to this illness, who will become ill, who will die. Life is unknown and chaotic. I, for one, am seeking order. Pesach is the quintessential holiday of order. Seder means order. And the meal is a compilation of rituals that tell us the precise moment, the precise ways, the precise measurements of how we perform the rituals. The Haggadah is separated into four sections, each section made up of a question, story, praise, thanks. From Kiddush to Chag Gadya, the Seder is ordered. And yet if you've been to my Seder, it's anything but ordered. Children are running around, somebody spills grape juice or wine on the tablecloth, and at random moments, somebody launches a toy frog at one of us. And the truth is, is that many of the rituals are not as ordered as they seem to be. One such example is yachatz, the moment where we break the matzah. Half will be eaten at motzi matzah, and half will become the afikomen. But it doesn't make sense to break the matzah so early on. Shouldn't we eat the matzah, break the matzah, right after the magid section? In fact, Rambam and many Mepharshim had the midhag to do it then. It makes sense to do the matzah rituals all at once, all together. And yet, we do it early on in the Seder. Why? There are many answers, but I want to suggest, especially this year, that as we sit down to the ordered Seder, we introduce chaos. We introduce brokenness. The authors of the Haggadah knew what we've come to know so well these last few weeks. Chaos is inevitable. And so our task ahead is to embrace both ethics, the ethic of chaos and the ethic of order. On one hand, we cannot control how other people act in the world. We cannot control who will live and who will die. We cannot control the brokenness that we feel, the loss that so many of us are experiencing. But perhaps we can control ways, small ways, to introduce joy into our Seder. We can control how we protect ourselves, how we strive for safety. We can control how we find radical empathy, ways to give to others that we love. One final thought. The Gemara of Sachim explains that yachas is associated with lechem oni, with poor man's bread. We break the matzah right as we say, halach mananya, this is poor man's bread. The Gemara explains that just as a poor person eats broken pieces of loaf, so too matzah must be eaten as a broken piece. Our world is broken. We are broken. This year, May we have the humility to scoop up the crumbs and pray that we are able to withstand the disorder and chaos. And at the same time, may we seek ways to find joy, empathy, and order in the days ahead. Chag Kashem Sameach, and stay safe.